In the beginning of the story, we met Madhurandak Devar, an important character in this story, in the Kadampur mansion. Another time we saw him go to the palace in the middle of the night through the dungeon passage of Palyavetarayar. At that time the famous prince, who would later sit on the throne of Tanjore with the title of Paraksari Uttamachola, was not properly introduced to the readers. We would like to address that shortcoming now. Before talking about Madhurand Hagar, the readers should be reminded a little about his lineage. Before Sundar Chola Emperor, his great father Kandaradhan Chola was the ruler of the Chola country for a long time. He and his consort, Malavarayar's daughter Sempiyan Madhavi, were devotees of Shiva. They devoted their entire lives to temple restoration work. Kandaradathar had a desire to compile the Devara Tirupathi Gams scattered all over Tamil Nadu. That wish was not fulfilled during his lifetime. However he collected some songs. He also sang some songs in the style of Devara Padhikam. Among them, the hymn he sang about Chidambaram is still being presented in a volume called Thiruvazapa. Kandaradatha mentions in his hymn about his great father Parantaka Charkavarthi giving gold to Thilayambala. In the song, he mentions that his father was the conqueror of Pandya and Elam. He mentions his name in the last verse of the epitaph and mentions that Tanjore was the capital of the Cholas during his time. Kandaradatha did not believe in war and expansion of the kingdom. He was saddened by the suffering of people due to wars and tried to avoid fighting as much as possible, he sought peace. Due to this, the Chola Empire shrank during his reign. Kandaradathar in his old age married the daughter of Malavarayar. Their son, Madhurandha, was a small child during the latter days of Kandaratitha. Enemies were making headway all around the kingdom. At the same time, Aranjaya, the younger brother of Kandaratitha, was wounded in the battle and was facing death. Aranjaya's son Sundarakulan had by then passed the bull season, won many battles and was known as a great hero. Therefore Kandaratathar decided that after him Sundara Chola was the one who deserved the title and announced it to the citizens. He also said that Sundara Chola's descendants are the ones who deserve the title so that there will be no family quarrels related to the throne. He had also told his wife that she should bring up her son Madhurandha as a devotee of Shiva and engage in the activities of Shiva. These were commonplace things in those days. Sembian Mathavi fulfilled her promise to her husband. She instilled devotion to Shiva and zeal for worldly life in Madhurantha's childhood. For about twenty years, Madhurandhagan followed the mother's voice as the Vedic voice. He had little interest in the affairs of the kingdom, the thought that the Chola throne belonged to him did not arise in his heart. His mind had started to change since he had married the daughter of Chinapalyavatarayar two years ago. Nandini the youngest Rani of Palvur, who had given in lightly at the beginning, made her grow bigger by putting incense. A small spark quickly turned into a huge forest fire. We have also seen that due to various reasons, many Cholanadu princes and high officials tried to support Madhurandha and conspire. They were looking forward to the chance that Sundara Chola would turn a blind eye to enthronement of Madhurandha. But Madhurandhagan did not want to wait that long. He began to think that Sundara Chola had no right to the throne and that he should have got the Chola Empire. Especially now that Sundara Chola was sick and bedridden and unable to look after the kingdom, wasn't it? So why not immediately take the throne of Tanjavur and accept the burden of the kingdom? Thus it was now the responsibility of the Palyavetarayas to curb Madhurandhagan's craze for statehood. They don't want to rush and spoil things. Sundara Chola's two sons were heroes. They were enshrined in the hearts of the people because of their heroic deeds and other qualities. Two great leaders, Kajum Valar and Tyriko Valar Malay Aman, supported the sons of Sundara Chola. In the army too a large section of soldiers preferred the sons of Sundara Chola. So the Palyavatarayas decided to be patient as long as the emperor was alive. Meanwhile, they learned that the emperor's mind had also changed a little. If Sundara Chola himself had said that the title would belong to Prince Madhurandha after him, there would be no problem. The only ones who can stand in the way of this are the younger Brady and the champion Matthew. A younger brat's maneuvers can be overcome by alternative maneuvers. 
but if the champion Mathavi, who is revered as a deity throughout Tamil Nadu, stands in the way, it will not be easy to overcome that obstacle. It was widely known that the great-grandmother did not want her own son to ascend the throne. How will the citizens accept that the son will mount the lion against his mother's word? 1. That mother should also follow her husband and go to Kailasa post. Or change his mind. Who else could have the power to change a mother's mind other than her own child? But if the champion Mathavi, who is revered as a deity throughout Tamil Nadu, stands in the way, it will not be easy to overcome that obstacle. It was widely known that the great-grandmother did not want her own son to ascend the throne. How will the citizens accept that the son will mount the lion against his mother's word? 1. That mother should also follow her husband and go to Kailasa post. Or change his mind. Who else could have the power to change a mother's mind other than her own child? But if the champion Mathavi, who is revered as a deity throughout Tamil Nadu, stands in the way, it will not be easy to overcome that obstacle. It was widely known that the great-grandmother did not want her own son to ascend the throne. How will the citizens accept that the son will mount the lion against his mother's word? 1. That mother should also follow her husband and go to Kailasa post. Or change his mind. Who else could have the power to change a mother's mind other than her own child? That mother should also follow her husband and go to Kailasa post. Or change his mind. Who else could have the power to change a mother's mind other than her own child? That mother should also follow her husband and go to Kailasa post. Or change his mind. Who else could have the power to change a mother's mind other than her own child? Therefore, the cultists often urged Madhurandak Deva to change his mind by telling his mother. Madhurandhakar was not the only one enthusiastic about this matter. The desire to rule the kingdom was raging in his heart. But he was reluctant to talk about it with his mother. Why is he so unwilling to meet and talk to the old woman? Now, Sembian Mathavi himself had sent a message to Tanjore. She had made it known that she was planning to fulfill one of her husband's wishes and wanted her son to be with her on that occasion. Accordingly, Chinapalyavatarayar asked Madhurandhagar to go to Old Are. On this occasion, he pleaded with his mother about his right to Tanjore, trying to change her mind. 